Oh, wait. no way. No way. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the channel. And today I have another wacky idea to try to build in Instruments of Destruction. Last time I built this crazy mono wheel design, self balancing, uh, controllable. And today, I want to try to reinvent the catapult. Now, historically speaking, catapults were generally used to launch giant boulders at buildings and structures to knock down those structures. But hear me out here. What if instead of launching stuff at buildings with a catapult, we launch the buildings with the catapult? The way that I imagine this working is I intend to have a very large platform on which the building can theoretically rest. And then to get the building onto the platform, I am going to saw through the entire foundation of the building, hopefully letting it fall right where it needs to be, and then just try to launch it and hoping that the catapult is going to be strong enough to launch whatever building we decide to try to launch here. All right, so I started off simple, just built my uh, base here that I can attach the catapult to. And I think that the next part that I'm gonna work on is the actual swinging mechanism that is going to launch the building. And then once I have that, the last part will actually be the part that the building is going to rest on that cuts out the base. So I want this mechanism to have a lot of strength potential. So I think I'm gonna try to use pistons to push this thing up. I actually don't know how strong pistons really are in this game. How far do these actually travel here? All right, that's a deep, that, that should be enough travel, I think. But I think these pistons are actually gonna have to attach to some hinges first. So then right here is where the pivot point's gonna come from. All right, then if I just add a free swivel here and connect the pistons, I think this should be able to do a pretty strong launch, I hope. All right, there we go. Let's see if this actually works as intended. So if I press the up button, Okay, I mean, it does what I thought it was going to do. It just, it's not as smooth as I was expecting. Can I change the speed of these? Oh, the strength wasn't actually up because I replaced them down. Okay, now here's uh, here's stronger pistons. Whoa, I found a suspension glitch. <laughs> uh, suspension glitch makes its way into another game. All right, where, look at this. These things end up stretching a bit off of the bearing. Oh, that is weird. Okay, so maybe I should move the pivot point. All right, I moved the pivot point by one block. Let's see if that makes a difference. Oh, perfect. That person that puts it right up to a 90 degrees without any type of a uh, suspension glitch happening. And that's pretty fast, I think, because remember, this is going to uh, we're going to have the actual catapult payload area over here. So this is that is a really long way to go in such a short amount of time. So that's going to be pretty fast. Now the question is, are these going to be strong enough to lift a building? All right, so now I'm trying to just build this thing down. That's like a block above. Oh, I can go. Wait, what? I thought the pistons were already fully contracted, but apparently I can contract a little bit more than uh, their starting position. But look how fast, look how fast that thing goes up. If this thing is strong enough to lift a building, this building is gonna get shredded on the way up and we're just basically shotgun catapulting building debris at that point. This is gonna, I'm, I need, I'm gonna have to put more weight on this thing. Look at this, this is ridiculous. All right, so I'm trying to visualize here exactly how this is gonna work. Cause this is like, I don't really have thin pieces to create like a, like a thin platform to dig underneath. I mean, well, hold on. Cause where can I attach? No, I can only really attach these right there and I can't extend them out flat to create a flat surface. So I think this might be the best I'm gonna be able to do. It's a pretty thick platform So I'm really gonna be taking out the whole bottom section a lot. Oh, man This is getting kind of heavy like just this part is getting pretty heavy. These are 350 kilograms each All right, you know, let's see how this feels so far. Am I even gonna be able to lift this massive thing? I don't even have the saw blades on there yet. But here we go. Ooh, whoa That's a lot of weights Oh boy. Oh, and I added a bunch of weight too already. Oh, that is aggressive. Okay. Um, man, we're doing skateboard tricks with this thing. It does like an ollie motion. Check it out. Okay, that's totally, just totally like doing an ollie on a skateboard. Okay, I may have made the catapult actually too strong. I'm gonna try my best to cut, I don't know how to cut down on weight on this thing. It's just, the bigger I want the platform, the heavier it's gonna be. All these parts are heavy. All right, well, I put all the saw blades on. So I press E 
Oh, they don't work. Why don't the saw blades work? Is it because they're glitching into each other? Here, let me delete that one. See if this end one works now. Oh, they might be glitching into each other. Oh, wow. Okay, that is actually a thing. I thought they were just gonna work because I could place them like that. All right, there we go. So now they should all work. There we go. So that should allow us, hopefully, to saw... Oh my goodness, I need to, like... The strength and the speed are kind of grouped into one function. So if I want them to be really, really strong, they also end up being super fast. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. But you know what? Let's try this building over here. Just to see if I can pick it up, I might need to turn tough structures on. The whole thing might end up collapsing. All right. There we go. Can I just push through the bottom? And then have it... Um... There we go. Oh! I have the building! It didn't collapse! But this is it. We're, we're gonna launch it right now. This is gonna... This is gonna be the first test. In three, two, one... Launch! Oh! It was beautiful! It's raining debris! It's still raining debris! <laughs> it went so high up in the air! Oh, we're gonna have to do that a, a lot of times and do slow motion and all kinds of different angles. But I wanna- I wanna try to make the- the creation less likely to jump up in the air. Whoa! I'm sorry. Which means, um, I need to- I need to add a lot more weight to this thing. Like, a lot more weight. Alright, I've made this thing 541,000 kilograms of a catapult. Please tell me I- I can launch without jumping into the air. Alright, that's better. I mean, we still get some air. But it's better. All right, I'm ready for another attempt. Let's see how this goes this time. Oh, oh, it's so perfect the way the building just falls down onto it. Can I carry the building with me? Oh, it slides. Okay, that's a little interesting. Oh, and it's collapsing now. Oh, it is totally collapsing. All right, launch. <laughs> that wasn't even a launch. That was just flat out. I ripped through the building. All right, I'm experimenting. I'm figuring out how this thing works. Man, look at the... We just created a debris field. All right, this thing does not have the best turning because of how spread out our tracks are. It's too long of a vehicle. All right, so I gave myself some steering on top of my tank tracks like this. A little bit weird, but it works. All right, let's, let's do a test here. We'll do an A-B test. This is going to be a normal one uh, with just the current settings. And then we're going to try strong or tough structures and see how that feels. All right, here we go. I think this is an okay angle. Building catapult. Three, two, one, go! Oh! Do you think the building will ever have a chance of staying together even with tough structures on? I'm thinking probably not. We literally turned it to dust. We thanos the building. All right, we're turning tough structures on now. Ooh, we're turning tough structures on and structure collapses? I wonder what happens if we turn that off, but let's do... Let's do one change at a time. Now we're gonna do tough structures, then we're gonna turn the structure collapses off, and I don't know if that means I should, I should still be able to uh, cut it off from the ground, even with, with that setting off, I hope. All right, so these are tougher structures now. All right, there we go. All right, let's see if this feels any different. Will the building stay together? In three, two, one, launch! Oh, oh, whoa. Uh, my camera did a little bit of the weird stuff there. I think the top of the building, I don't see it anywhere. Why is this stuff falling in slow motion? I'm on real time right now. I kind of, uh, I kind of broke physics a little bit, I think. Man, look at all off in the distance. We made some serious distance there. That is some, that is, this is some good results. This is a, it's still, it's still falling. Debris is still falling. <laughs> it's still falling. Okay, I think it's done. That was a good, like, 20 seconds of air time for some of those pieces. Okay, so tough structures definitely did seem a little bit tougher. Um, before we change, I want to try to launch one of these towers and see what happens. All right, just enough for it to fall onto us is all we need. There we go, and launch. Oh, where is it? I can't look up that high. I don't know what happened. I can't zoom out anymore. 
Is it still together somewhere? Where? Ah, uh, I don't. Oh, wait. no way. No way. I can't believe that just I just witnessed that I thought the building was gone and I missed it but that thing that thing went so high up in the air okay all right let's turn off structure collapses and see what happens with that I'm assuming that just means that the structure when it's only hanging on by like a thread that it won't just automatically fall down I don't know if this will really affect anything else but uh, might as well try and see what happens man I cannot believe how far that got launched that was insane all right, are we gonna be able to... Yeah, everything seems to be working as expected. All right, there we go. We have the building. So we can barely see the building right now, but it'll come into view, trust me. All right, three, two, one. Did you see that piece go flying? Just absolutely flying up somewhere? I don't know where it went. Where am I? Oh, wow, I am way up in the air here. This is so awesome. All right, I gotta try it with this tower again. This was the, that was the most amazing experience I've had in this game, I think. I'm gonna turn it to slow motion. All right, I think the building has officially been disconnected. Yep, all right, here we go. Three, two, one. Go! Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, I'm turning the speed back up. It's out of frame. I don't even know. I can't even follow it. It went that high. Where are you? I'm looking up in the sky. I don't even see it right now. I don't even know where I am. All right, hold on. I don't know where the, I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that went even farther. That went so far. I was messing with the camera for like 30 seconds there and somehow I didn't even miss it falling. I cannot believe how far that falls. All right, let's try this building right here. This is also a pretty vertically oriented building, so I don't know if it'll have the same strength as that tower, but we might get something good out of it. All right, here we go. Disconnecting the building. Three, two, one, launch. Oh, oh the whole thing. The whole thing disintegrated once it, uh, it kind of like imploded into itself because I pushed everything so far into itself. This is insanity. I gotta, like, I did not think this was gonna be that effective of a creation. I didn't even know if, this, if we were gonna be able to do what I planned to do, but this was exactly how I expected it to function, just way more destructive. All right, let's do a slow motion on this one right here as well. All right, there we go, we got it. Down to 10% speed, and launch. Oh! Look at that. It's just like, that's a Thanos snap right there. Literally just got Thanos snapped out of existence. All right, let's speed it on up. And yeah, that is why, um, well, what happened to the water? The water got really frothy all of a sudden, but that is why debris ends up falling for like uh, 30 minutes straight. Oh, look, <laughs> I just realized not only is this a catapult for buildings, but it is also a fly swatter for buildings. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't nearly as destructive. Oh, I have tough structures on. That's why. Yeah, there we go. It's still... Wow, this building's really holding up. Oh, there we go. It's way it's way more effective as a catapult, if I'm being honest. All right, let's see if we can... This building's kind of long from this perspective, but let's see if we can cut all the way through. Come on. I just need that last little bit. Just the last little bit. All right, you know what? I'm just going to do it anyway. It's not even detached from the ground, but still... There we go. Now it's detached from the ground. It's insanity. It is satisfaction and insanity. In insatisfaction. No, that doesn't make sense. Satisfanity. No, that doesn't sound right. I don't think you can combine those words in a good way. All right, I got another building here to launch. And... Yeah! <laughs> it's so crazy. It's just debris. I mean, there's a bigger piece way up there. I'm still, this is real time, by the way. I'm not slowed down or anything. This is so crazy. Uh oh, oh, I'm falling in the water. Eh, I'm trying to paddle my way out. You know what? We might be able to make boats in this game. 
This water has some serious resistance. It's, de it, it's definitely like a non-Newtonian fluid right here. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, another wildly successful invention made possible by Instruments of Destruction here. Things like, like things go surprisingly well in this game. Like I don't run into nearly as many issues as I expect to run into when trying to make an idea a reality. Like it just worked. It literally first try was amazing. Oh, this one actually tipped us over. That one didn't work quite the way it was supposed to. I didn't detach it from the, from the ground and So, so about the game working as intended. So I think that's an indicator that that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed this, you'll probably enjoy some more Instruments of Destruction, which you can check out on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.